It's, it's cool to see Abel here inter interact with you just as a fan. Um, you know, you're kind of like the guy in the middle, so to speak, in the thing with oh, him. I try to, I try to uh, stay friendly with, uh, with everyone that I, that I work with. Uh, well, like I said, I've always been friends with uh, Abel for a long time. I have a lot of respect for him and what, what uh, Gennady's accomplished. You know, he's got his new training team with Jonathan Banks, who I've known Jonathan for a long time. I used to put fights together for Jonathan on the Klitschko undercard, yeah. so I'm happy that uh, that transition went smooth if he was going to make the transition. Um, it was actually a surprise for, for really everyone on the team, but when the guy made the decision, then, uh, you know, we went ahead and, and, uh, and uh, again, it was uh, good to see that transition and the impressive performance that uh, Gennady put on at Madison Square Garden. A lot of times, when you take time off the ring, you change your team, then it takes you a few fights to get in the rhythm, and Gennady was uh, right there knocking, uh, knocking Steve Rolls out in the fourth round, and Steve Rolls came to fight. He, he was did. really he underestimated, did. Yeah. and uh, he came to fight. He was undefeated. He was one of those unpredictable, unpredictable opponents, but we have a lot of respect for uh, Rolls, and, and Gennady still has that one-punch knockout power, yeah. so we were excited about that. And, you know, we'll see uh, what's next for Triple G. You know, there was a big top-ranked card in association with MTK Global, I think, in Kazakhstan. Sure, if you, if yeah. you can win on that, it was a big car, big stadium. Do you feel that, you know, what you guys have done with Abel and Gennady, just that little niche that you guys built in the history of boxing, opened up doors for those kind of things? Oh, it definitely opened up the doors for the fighters in Kazakhstan. It just raised it to a whole different level. Kazakhstan's always had great fighters, but mostly amateur fighters. You know, they've had gold medalists, silver medalists. Uh, Gennady was really the one that opened the door for the professional boxing, where the kids could get inspired by, okay, well, I can really make you know, become a world professional world champion and make a living in the United States. Remember, when Gennady grew up, he was still part of the Soviet uh, era where you couldn't turn professional. Same era like the Klitschko's, where they were coming up out of, out of, uh, out of Ukraine, where Vladimir won the gold medal. George, we'll see you later. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming out. George, I'll be at the fight. Yeah, I know. I talked to him. He's going to be there at the Hollywood fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He'll do a meet and greet before the fights. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, George. All right, take care, buddy. All right, thanks. Good seeing you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, the Klitschko's were really the first ones from Eastern Europe to take it to that commercial success, being heavyweight champion, actually both brothers being heavyweight champion at the same time, selling out arenas, selling out soccer stadiums. And Triple G, when I had the meetings with HBO and Showtime originally, they did a lot of people like Kazakhstan, and, and you know, he was an undefeated middleweight champion, but they didn't know what to do with him. As soon as you know, Peter Nelson put him on HBO in his first fight in 2012, Gennady like, showed the fans how exciting he was in the ring, how marketable he is outside the ring, his personality, his charisma, and he's really the one that opened the doors. You know, he knew the pressure was on him. There was so much weight on his shoulders to, to prove he could be exciting. He could really carry the torch for Eastern European fighters. We were selling out Madison Square Garden. We were selling out the Forum. We sold out T-Mobile twice. We sold out the O2. So he was really the one that uh, opened the doors. Now you got a lot of fighters coming from that Eastern, uh, Eastern Bloc country trying to be like Triple G. You know, really, honestly, there's only one Triple G. But guys like Sorry Bochuk, younger guys coming up, you know, they can try to follow in his footsteps. You got Lomachenko, you got Daniel, you got, look, Usyk. Usyk's a tremendous fighter. He's from K2 Ukraine, Olympic gold medalist, uh, undisputed cruiserweight champion. I think Usyk really can become heavyweight champion. So that's really the next guy from uh, Eastern Europe that could uh, really take uh, professional boxing to, uh, to a high level of the commercial.